In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top four Kiwi MD components that make your application look really, really professional. Let's get this video started. The first component that I'm going to be talking about is the MD Swiper. Now, MD Swiper is a very interesting and easy to use component. You can replace it in, in terms of uh, a carousel that you have. So what exactly does the my sweep or MD Swiper usually does? So I'm going to be writing some Kiwi logic here or Kiwi, uh, some, some kind of a Kiwi code here to show you guys how exactly that works. All right, so I've completed writing the code. I'm going to quickly, I'm going to quickly explain it before running that. Uh, so let's see what exactly is being written. So I'm creating something called as a my swiper. Um, first mistake here. I'm going to creating something called as a my swiper, which is going to be uh, the name of my widget. The my swiper is going to be of the type my swiper item, and that is internally going to be used inside my MD swiper. So basically, it will take a child of only MD swiper item. So make sure to use that. And inside the MD swiper item, I'm actually individually constructing my items. So it's going to be of relative layout. It's going to have an image on the top, and in the bottom, it's going to actually have an information about the item itself and a button to click so that when you click it, it you, you can go inside that item and do all of those sorts. So what exactly? is the swiper and how exactly does that work let's run it to see see for ourselves yes the application is created and basically I have actually used a very old image let me change the image all right so this is how the application is going to look like so this is going to be the uh, image that I'm going to be seeing for the first swiper item and I can swipe to the right and as you can see it will automatically take care of giving that cool effect of bringing the swiper into focus so that's making it even more easy for me so it's actually bringing this image into focus now I can click on it I can see about the information about it and things like that now this is a very basic and uh, very trivial I would say very basic kind of an uh, implementation of the my swiper or the MD swiper and uh, you will see that you can even do a lot of cool stuff with this and as you uh, build it towards so that's pretty much what i wanted to cover for the first item so if you are interested you can check that out this this exact example is taken from the document itself so i didn't want to create something too complex i modified it for my purpose to show a few basic things that i want to show so check that out in the description first link uh, let, let's move on to the next one all right for the second one i'm going to be talking about a very interesting and useful uh, useful class or uh, component called as uh, MD drop down menu. So MD drop down menu is not the usual accordion menu that you see from the left to right swiping and the, all of those, st those stuff. It's available in every single um, material design kind of a toolkit. But for this one, it's actually something which respect to with respect to the component or the button itself where you click on it, it will open up to the top. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. First thing you'll need is obviously inside this class, you can create it inside a K KV file as well, but I'm going to be doing it right here. So just immediately create or quickly create a super and create an init file. I'm going to write in some logic here. So let me quickly do that and explain to you how that works. All right, so this one is very, very simple to use. What, what exactly am I doing here? I'm actually creating an empty raised button. I didn't press floating action button. You can do it anything you want to. Once the MD raised button is created, you can now actually create your own MD dropdown. So let's see how it actually works. When you click on this button, you can see that for yourself that it's opening up the menu items similar in this way. And as you click on it, you can actually have its own callback. I mean, it will automatically create its own callback. So how do you exactly do that? The main reason behind or main component behind that is the use of the MD drop down menu. So MD drop down menu takes in the caller, which is going to be the button that we created. So we are saying this button when create, clicked, uh, make sure to open this drop down menu. It also takes menu items where you can customize your menu items. You can have even icons inside the menu items and you can go inside that to see for yourself. So for example, for this one, I've created just a text. So this is actually an item that I'm just giving a random number for that. And the view class is going to be in one list, list, uh, one line list item because it's going to be just one line and you can have two line list item you can have multi-line list items you can control the view class directly 
the third one is going to be the on release where every single item that's clicked you can control its own bind methods or you can own control its own callback methods so these are going to be the three important ones that i'm going to be using and i'm actually going to uh, use that as part of this empty drop dead menu object creation now if it will not automatically open when you uh, as soon as you create this what exactly is required is that you need to say when the floating action button or when this button is clicked so when you say on release is there you create an open menu which will in turn be actually or calling the open off method on the menu object so menu object is this one you need to manually call the open off method only if you click on the menu it will open if you don't do that it will not open so make sure to uh, uh, call the open off method manually or you sh i should say explicitly only then it will fire the uh, the menu that you just saw now so that's that's the second one that i want to show very very useful you can create it as much as you want to and make it uh, very very user friendly as well when you're using it as part of your key the application let's move on to the third one all right so for the third one this is probably a very useful and also a very simple to create component it's called as the empty banner so empty banner will give you a very simple way of opening up a banner when you click on a line or you can say you when you click on any kind of a card or any kind of a component it'll, it'll automatically open up a line or it'll automatically open up a banner that will give you a lot of cool information so for this one i'm going to be using the ui itself uh, that we have been using till now so inside the ui i'm going to be quickly writing few uh, few a few objects or i'm going to be creating few components and i'll talk to you guys about what exactly i'm doing once i finish that all right so I've completed writing the md banner code this again is some uh, something similar from the md uh, document itself i just wanted to give you guys a few quick understanding of what actually it does so like it says the kiwi that is under the banner it will be shifted down to the height of the banner so what exactly happens is that uh, let's say this is the first banner you need to have the banner at the top always so this is going to be the first object that's going to be created so once that object is created the toolbar is going to obviously uh, stay at the top itself it's going to be the business portion so it will not move the box layout is the one that is going to open up to show uh, uh, the user what we have clicked so what exactly happens is that uh, we'll see for ourselves click on this banner and it'll automatically open up to show some information let's say one list string text example without actions and probably it's actually with action so i need to call it as one list text example with action so this is going to be the actions uh, meaning that uh, you can actually have a left action you can have a right action and uh, once you open this action you can see that for yourself you can click on it you can have it own callback you can say uh, make sure to fire something up make sure to fire something up for the right action so you can control all of that what exactly and how exactly is it created make sure to create your md banner first give it an id for sure and uh, you can create all the actions that, that could be without actions that could be one single line that could be multiple line anything you want once that is done make sure to also the mb toolbar can be required if required you can create it if doesn't if you do if you don't doesn't matter all right so the box layout is going to be the main player here so as you can see that this box layout is going to be taking a one list item where it, you're going to be actually having the information to show to the user basically this is going to be the one that's going to be fired up uh, when the band is clicked or this button is clicked so what exactly happens is that when you are going to be clicking on this button this on release is fired which in turn fire says that to show the banner so this will be moved to the bottom and the empty banner will be shown make sure to have this at the top first because it will be hidden by our uh, box box layout and it will automatically show by default it will not be visible only when you call this callback of show it will be visible so that's pretty much very very useful that i always use uh, whenever i want to reveal something of that sort and also make your application look really really professional all right so let's move on to the last one which i have for you guys very very interesting to look into all right for the last one or the fourth one i am going to be showing you guys an example of how to use the md backdrop the md backdrop is actually very very interesting to look into it's not available in any of the other uh, popular toolkits including flutter and uh, you have kodawa and all of these cross platform toolkits does not have this uh, component uh, within the core library itself yes you can do it with few simple hacks you can do it with with respect to using some kind of a workaround but but with respect to the kiwi you have a uh, component itself for the widget itself called as md backdrop so what exactly does the md backdrop do it takes a user uh, to uh, towards a backdrop as well as to the front drop meaning that you can control what is behind a component what is to the front which is what the user is seeing and uh, you can actually create it in a similar fashion make sure to have a ui.py here and it should have the basic stuff like this and the ui.kv is where you can be writing the code i'll quickly go write that code and show you guys how exactly it looks like 
all right so i've just taken the example from the mdkv docs and modified it so that i can show you something very very simple so what exactly i'm using here i'm actually using the md backdrop as part of my ui layout itself and two important things it can have an md backdrop layer and md front drop layer backdrop front layer so the backdrop back layer is going to be something that i'm going to be using which is nothing but i'm going to be showing it to you showing an image to you the image is actually the kiwi icon itself it's in this location you can take it if you want to and the front layer is very very interesting right and the front layer i'm saying the front layer is of type md card and in the md card i'm just actually uh, putting some data inside that just to show you guys how it actually works and it's also going to be the orientation vertical just a simple card nothing more than that and uh, what happens is that you can control up to what height you can, you want the entire backdrop to open to let's see how that works actually right the backdrop is the one that is behind this so what will happen is that let me save this up and then I click on this backdrop you can see that it's opening the entire item up showing me the uh, the logo for the kiwi uh, application and i'm going to close it now let me just say uh, change a little bit around this let me change it to the png banner or i'll change it to the png image dot png all right i'm going to be changing the png image or png just to show you guys how it looks like let's click on to see how it actually looks like awesome right so it's opening up to my uh, the image that i have and it's going to be a simple reveal effect that is very very cool and the second one is that when you want to control the front drop also you can even control the front drop right how that happens is that you're taking using the window from the core window and what you, you are saying just open it to just 50 percent of the height which is also possible you are actually saying open the backdrop only to the 50 percent of the windows height now clicking on the front drop it actually opening up to only 50 percent revealing only 50 percent and you can control that back and forth similar to toggle and that's pretty much how you're creating it the md backdrop also has a left action items so you can say a menu when the menu is clicked you are saying it open it up uh, to the entire one and so in the when you say open it'll open the entire thing up meaning that will open 100 percent you can even control it by 50 percent just like i showed you on the top so that's pretty much how the md backdrop is created very very simple nothing complex you can use it in any of your application to do a very cool reveal effect and that's actually part of the core kiwi itself uh, sorry core kiwi md itself and uh, that's pretty much what i wanted to show you guys as part of this video hope this video is very very informative if you did find this video informative you know what to do smash that like button in the next video it's going to be really interesting to see i'm going to be doing a simple challenge uh, flutter versus kiwi most asked so make sure to subscribe and wait till that i'll see you guys in the next upcoming videos really cool uh, stuff coming up for this channel i'll see you guys there until then it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day